Okay, I'm going to show students how to access the Citrix system uh, on your home computer. Um, and basically what this allows you to do is log in from your home computer uh, and see your uh, school computer desktop. Um, and this is useful uh, in basic technical drawing, engineering drawing, architectural drawing, advanced drawing, so that you can access not only the, the um, assignments that I give you guys, but also the, the programs as well. Um, I would use Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, uh, and please understand that I am using a PC here running Windows 10. I don't have a Mac, so I can't show that, uh, that install, but it's not dissimilar, I wouldn't think. Um, and also, you can find the instructions, and I'm going to show you that now. If you just do uh, York County and then Citrix, so if you just type that in, hit enter, you're going to come up with instructions here, Citrix ac access instructions. So we'll click on that. And this tells you how to, how to um, access the Citrix system in both Mac and PC. Um, but this would be the website that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay. Um, so I've got for the best experience here, use the full set of features and so forth. Um, I've already downloaded that. Um, so I don't need to download it again. Um, so just for the sake of time there, uh, I'll, I'll kind of skip over the actual download part, but you will need to do that. Um, it does help uh, run things a little bit more smoothly. Uh, so I just need to go to the download folder here. All right, here it is for me. So I'll click on that. Click on yes. We'll click on start. I accept. Up to you on this one. We basically just got to let it run through its thing here. Okay, so our installation is now finished. We're going to click on finish. And then we're going to click on the detect receiver here now. And we'll wait for it to open up. Um, so I'm going to click on the GHS desktops. You should get the same or similar screen. All right. And then we're going to click on the, well, we're giving it a second here. Sorry. It's getting there. All right, and now my screen is going to appear exactly as it does um, while I'm at school. Um, so this will be my desktop now at school. And please keep in mind that it is running through uh, um, Google Chrome there. Uh, and so we basically just logged in. All right, so anything that I would ordinarily access at school, um, I can now access now. So, for example, for YCSD applications, if I double click on that, um, I'll be able to get any of the other programs that I can run at school. So, if I wanted to run AutoCAD, I can do that now. If I want to run Inventor, I can do that now. If I want to run Revit, I can do that now. Same with Word, anything else that you might want. Same with accessing any of your uh, or any of the assignments that I place up here. So I can go to computer, I can go to the Z drive, GHS students, public, read only, Seltzer. Here's all four of the folders here. If I want to go to basic tech, introduction to technical drawing, here's all of the uh, basically first couple of weeks worth of work here. Um, and all of that will open as normal. Um, please be aware when you print, uh, you will print actually to my 105 HP printer. Um, so you'll actually print to my printer at school. Um, please don't do that. I would from home. Um, I don't check that printer and then pick stuff up and grade it. Uh, instead, basically, um, you need to come into school, print it off and then hand it in. Then, um, if you need to get back to your home or your desktop or whatever, then you would click here. Um, you can also log out in this way as well.